Hello, beautiful souls. What's up? You want to say hi? Hello. So we're really excited about what we're going to be bringing to you to this channel, but we're going to kick it off today with our first official um, foodie review. Yeah. We're trying something new in the city that we've landed in. So we're going to try out this restaurant right behind us. Oh. <laughs> the city we've landed in is Los Alamitos, and we're going to try the Shenandoah at the Harbor restaurant. So super yeah. excited. See you on the inside. If they have that, I'm not sure if they have that. <laughs> How are you feeling about it so far, babe? It's cool. It's definitely, it's definitely uh, like a higher caliber. Um, not, it's not like groovy, but it's not like really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was expected to know where this was, so meaning that they probably had a lot of returning people, stuff like that. For me, anytime I go into an establishment, I would like to be educated. So you gotta act as if everybody, it might be everybody's first time. That's a great business for yeah. everything. For so, YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, but it's cool though. I mean, I don't know if you got to, if you got to show them the rocks and stuff like that right here. So yeah. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, it's hot right here, so it's clearly uh, it is clearly like a the place to be right now. What's today? A Monday. Yeah, random Monday for lunch, well early lunch. Yeah. Probably like noon right now. If I had to say, let me tell you exactly what time it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is twelve thirty. At eleven. At eleven. And folks had to come get that, so. so it must be really good. Let's see. Really excited to try it. Yeah, it was um, really it's... excited. Sometimes you can't mix, um, like like people like trying to rush and well not necessarily rush, but do their job at a at a high pace as being rude. But that's something that they got to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see how the rest of the experience is before I really touch in detail. <laughs> yeah, but so on far, our... it's cool. It's cool. It's is basically... that like a house kind of thing? One of the things, like, if you weren't hip to it, you would you wouldn't really know where to go. So we kind of walked in and was kind of like, so. Uh, Thank you, babe. How did I get help? Yeah, honestly, it wasn't the most welcoming. To be very, very honest. Um, but I'm excited to try the food, and it's clearly a certain caliber person here, which is a beautiful thing. That's what we want to be. We want to be around, around people that. Now what's upper that? Echelon. Yeah, but let's see if it's upper echelon or if it's big bougie. <laughs> oh, look at these huge fish, honey. They're huge. Okay, babe, what'd you decide on? So I decided on, uh, you know, I'm the type I gotta look at it and point at it. So I, mean, I decided on the barbecue prime rib and brisket sandwich. So we're gonna get the house combo fries. Okay, and I'm gonna get the chicken cashew sandwich with the house combo fries too. And Summer Lily's gonna get the pasta with butter and parmesan with cheese. Sound good? So we thought these were hush puppies, but you think they're apple fritters? No, I think it's the cake bread. I saw something oh, okay. say cake bread. I feel you on. Uh, I feel you on what you were saying as far as like you should treat everybody like a brand new person, regardless of um, you know how long you've been open and stuff. Because they came and just brought the fritters, and like I didn't know what it was. So she could have said, "Here's some fritters." So these are like the fritters. No. I don't think so. Oh. I think that's just like their appetizer. I think the app hot apple fritters, hopefully that's something else. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
They got like both right here. Oh, from the place next door? That's pretty. Okay, guys, so we are back at the hotel. I can't even believe I forgot to record our food, babe. That's so funny. I don't know if so I was just... like this. It too was busy. So dog. It was so good. It was so dog. It was actually so Definitely good. So I, I don't know how I feel about the number rating, but if you had to rate like one to ten, ten being the best. Um, overall rating, one to ten, ten is best. Overall rating, eight. That's fair. Eight. That's pretty nice too. I mean, nothing went wrong. Uh, one was that it's pretty nice. I wouldn't be being <laughs> fair if I said like a seven and a half or anything like that. This is and, so fun. And I can't go over the top as saying a nine or anything like that. So eight. Wow, this is <clears> so <throat> fun because you basically put into words what I was saying. Because I was just randomly thinking like, what would I number it? Like, what number would I give it? And I was just like, I can't even decide. But like, definitely eight. Not a low number. Eight off the strength of the first, first, first impression walking in the door. I would be honest about my first impression. Walk in, lady sitting there with her, you know, the typical blue Christian Dior purse. You walk in, sitting down, I got designer here. Nobody's looking up. Nobody's paying attention. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of like a little bougie place for real. And and most of the people were sitting outside. There was like another two ladies sitting there, super, you know, clearly on like a lunch day. They had their champagne stand where they keep, you know, put the bottle or whatever. So I was like, okay, this is clearly like a more upscale but low key show place. Mm -hmm. And then the patio was packed. The patio was packed, so I was like, okay, this is a popular place. But the first impression, like, we like to be greeted upon arrival. Like, we're like, you know, as soon as we walk in, we want somebody to be like, hi, how are you? I'll be right with you. And we didn't get that, honestly. We didn't really get that until after we shopped with them. And that's whatever. Right. Um, you know, I really enjoyed my meal. I enjoyed the overall experience. Um... You can't really control like the cattiness aspect of like <laughs> the patrons, so I, you know, I won't really we'll go there because <laughs> that, that's anywhere. That's not even you know? really a review, but part of our experience for like Right. Um, you know, I think some people can get excited about some of the stuff on the menu as, uh, as far as the 30 year stuff or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think uh, the sandwich. <clears throat> no, you actually didn't get a, a, a signature done. I ended up not getting signature. I guess we can give our little, our little, um, important points here for those that don't make it to Yelp. Mm -hmm. Some of our our points, but yeah, I definitely felt you. So we were debating on if we were gonna try one of the thirty plus year signature items. I don't think either of us did, but you. Took I got it. like a barbecue brisket uh, sandwich or something like that. It was good. Yeah, I really liked sandwich, the. Like yeah, I like the flavors. Like, the flavors are good because we tried their Cabo fries. And the, oh, I was like, good. what's the Cabo? And they said it's like a Cajun seasoning. Yeah, so those were good. <clears throat> and you got a. Um, I got the call? cashew chicken. Yeah. I like the seasoning. I was talking about the um, seasoning. I like that seasoning because it, it was Cajun, but it wasn't like so spicy that she wouldn't enjoy it. Because Summer doesn't like spicy food. I just wanted to throw it in there. But I got the chicken cashew, which basically was like chicken salad, and I loved it. And she got the kids' pasta, <clears throat> which actually looks like a grown-up pasta. She's still eating it right now. The serving was huge. She's eating her leftovers. <laughs> so how did you like your pasta? Good. It's good? Thumbs up? Did you like that restaurant? Yeah. Cool. What did you like about it? Uh, I like the Oh, it was good. Let me grab my, my, um, I got a tea to go. So I guess I can tell them about the tea. I, I was asking for a sweet tea and they said they didn't have sweet tea, but they had Texas tea. And I was like, what is that? Um, <laughs> spilling all over our fridge is what it is. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, you can help me. Thanks. I'll be 
be putting stuff away in a particular way, I guess. But yeah, you had the Texas tea. And it was basically. And she almost didn't get it. I almost didn't get it because she didn't make it sound amazing. She was like, oh, we have Texas tea. <laughs> and it's bomb. So they gave us the mint. Yeah, I was like, what is it? And she was like, huh? Thank you. <laughs> um, Thanks, baby. So I was like, what's Texas tea? She said that it has mint syrup. And I was like, so is it sweetened? Like, it wasn't a hard sell or like a, oh, it's good. You should try it. But, yeah, it was like get it or don't. Uh, one of the main things we said was that we wish they would have like treated us like they should treat everybody like you'd never been there before. regular year anniversary type of uh, <laughs> dishes right so with that being said it's like it's almost the type of place that they're like 90 percent of the people probably are like regulars but anyway i ended up loving the texas tea the mint syrup is like sweetened it's actually really really sweet and i love it so got one of those to go um yeah so the experience is cool <coughs> they spent 50 dollars <coughs> That's cool. Um, as far as the way we like to do food, we normally end up spending about 30 or so dollars just getting fast food to share amongst the three of us. So we can get excited about a new experience and add or around what you're going to be looking at spending anyway. So stay tuned for more experiences. A lot of them are really going to be deliveries that come. Because and we'll we're show you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because we're digital nomads and we really honestly are homebodies, hotel homebodies. We don't love leaving. We're really stepping into a place where we want to just chill here at the hotel, enjoy whatever amenities they have for stepping out. And we don't really leave like that. We don't really like sitting in restaurants, to be very honest. Like, I was really antsy. I told hubby, to, <laughs> this is so funny, I told him to ask for the check like before the food even came. I will say, as far as the restaurant, the patio is not allergy friendly. And I think that like, if you have allergies or something, you could probably understand what I'm saying. Like obviously it's outside, but like there's different types of outside dining experiences. Like some, you can be outside, there's no bugs, there's no itchiness. And then sometimes it's just not. So like, I don't know. That My allergies kind of were bothering me. Where you would have experienced bugs regardless because the way the opening was like if you even if you were sitting inside yeah like there was still a lot of exposure yeah definitely so overall cool, loved though. like so, loved the food shannon go at the at the harbor eight out of ten i definitely recommend um uh, what i got was on the um lunch special so that was cool mm -hmm. um, well actually i don't even think it was like lunch special you know, it was that little paper wasn't lunch special or whatever well, we're kind of stepping out of lunch special being the deal versus just what they have as their special for the day. Because, like, you know, you go to Chili's, the special is two people for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. But here, it was just, like, the highlighted menu because it, it was, like, more than the rest of the stuff. Right. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. And, um, yeah, overall, definitely great food. The portions were huge. And I took a couple bites of my sandwich and I was stuffed. And sometimes like, you know, I enjoy the idea of like soup, salad, light bites, light food for early in the day or lunch. And um, I feel like I'm not gonna be full enough, but I was full after taking a couple bites of chicken salad sandwich. So mm -hmm. great experience. And if you like this type of content, definitely hit the subscribe button. That's our love language. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. Let us know if you've ever tried this restaurant before. Um, if you plan on trying it out, show us some love down in the comment section. And, oh, also, make sure you click the link in the description box if you want to see both of our Yelp accounts. We're going ham. We have a goal of becoming Yelp Elite. So that's our new hobby. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of content like that. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.